So hey everyone, I've got these pants that I got from H&M some time ago, but they're really, really saggy in the crotch area here and it really stopped me from wearing them as much as I wanted to. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to shorten these pants and get rid of this excess here. So first things first, let's put on your pants and then you're going to pinch out about how much you want to take out. Now you don't want to go and take out a whole lot because you still need to take into account how it's going to look in the back. You don't want to give yourself a wedgie or you don't want to start to turn um, the, the angle of the pants here. And so just very naturally, you're going to pinch out a little of the excess here and you can either use a pin to pin it and mark it. Now we're not actually going to sew right here exactly where we're pinning. We're just doing this because we want to see how much we need to take out of this crotch seam. And so for me, it's about an inch. And when you're pinning this, you also want to look in the mirror and look in the back to make sure everything still fits comfortably on your backside as well. So I'm happy with this amount here. And so now I'm going to show you where to sew. This is a quick five minute adjustment. So take your pants off and turn them um, inside out. You want to be looking at the wrong side of your pants. And the front crotch area for your pant is probably going to be shorter than your back crotch area, uh, crotch length for uh, the back pattern piece, which means you're going to see that inseam looking from the front of your pants. So what you want to do is you want to adjust your pants so that you are looking only at the seam. like this. And you'll want to take out that bunching and just work to smooth your fabric. Now based on what I pinched out, I need to take out about an inch. And so what I'm gonna do is making sure everything is flat. You don't wanna feel any bumps underneath because when you sew it's going to be all bunched up and you're going to have to pick it out and do it all over again. So I'm going to mark about an inch from this inseam here right at the middle. Using my fabric chalk. Okay. And then I'm going to blend this line into my inseam here about six inches or so down. So about right here. So I'm gonna make that mark on both sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this marking to the original stitching on my pants. And I'm just going to roughly sketch that out. Because that's what your new stitching is going to look like. You're going to start from the original stitching in your pants inseam and you're going to blend up to this marking and then you're going to go back down on this side. And so you're just sketching in a line for you to follow.
Okay. So we're going to head to the sewing machine and we're going to start at this original stitching, follow this line up to our original marking and blending it back into this original stitching. So again, when you get to the sewing machine, make sure that you are smoothing out that pant. There's no bunching. And I can see my original stitching here. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to back stitch and stitch my new line. Now next, you wanna try these pants on again, and let's see how they look. So this is the final fit. I'm very happy with this. If you try yours on and feel like you didn't take enough out, then you can just raise that middle notch that we made, that middle marking that we made at the end seam. And vice versa, if you feel like you have taken out too much and it's too short and you got a little wedgy situation going on, then you can lower that marking and re-sew that line um, and test it out. So test out your fit, make sure that you're happy with it. I like the back too, everything fits nice. And then once you are satisfied with the new fit you have, go ahead and just cut off the excess and finish your raw edges and you're done. So I hope that you enjoy it.